Hi there everyone, Dr. Beth Busty here, and I am about to start watching my son play baseball. Um, busy family afternoon. I had a talk this morning at a gym, and I love sharing the message of women's health and nutrition. All the subject matter on my new book that's out, but one of the things that I realize I talk about, and sometimes I do these things where I talk about something and I'm like, right? Like, this is totally normal for people, right? Like, you guys know what I'm talking about. Like, making a comparison, and people are like, what? What? So one of the things I talk about with metabolism, hi Katie, um, is just a, uh, you know, uh, hi Melissa, hi ladies. Uh, one of the things I talk about with health and everything overall is talking about your metabolism and comparing your metabolism to a furnace and to get that furnace to burn hotter and faster and everything else to burn everything out, right? Because your body does not work by calories in, calories out. That is a super old mantra mindset does not work. If that's really how it worked, it would be way easier to be to have the health goals that everybody wants to have. It would just be simple. And it's not simple and people struggle. And they struggle because calories in, calories out doesn't work. Woo, shocker, right? So I talk about metabolism and I talk about, you know, really getting that furnace fueled and how you need to eat every two to three hours to keep, hi Kate, you're of Kate, um, to really talk about uh, fueling your body properly, just two to three hours and getting complete nutrients, proteins, fats, carbs, teaches your body to burn your food faster and hotter. It teaches your body. Some people call it reverse dieting. I mean, there's different names for it, but essentially it's all the same thing of you eat more frequently, you eat complete nutrients, proteins, fats, carbs, and that helps your metabolism work its best, its highest. So I compare it to a bonfire or like lighting stuff on fire. You want to start a fire, then this is what you do. And I'm like, so yeah, right? Like who's like gone out in their backyard and just lit stuff on fire? And people are like, what? I'm like, no, no, like really, you just... You, you know, like you're hanging out and you're a kid or you're like, what am I going to do? Oh, look, there's some sticks here. I could light this on fire. Ooh, I wonder what else I could light on fire. I wonder if I could melt the pop can. Hmm, what else can I put in there? What else? Can we get these leaves in there? Are they dry enough? Or they burn, right? So <laughs> sometimes when I talk about these things, I have these ladies, <laughs> Beth is a pyro, right? Oh my God, but this is true, right? It's like the same thing. This is like the, you know, comparison I'm trying to make. And I'm like, Right? People have lit stuff on fire. I've lit stuff on fire. I Maybe in a very safe setting. Always safe. Always safe. Safety first with the fires. I don't know. Oh my God. But right? Like you're like, okay, I want to build a big bonfire. You have to feed that fire evenly, consistently with the right fuel. You can't just take a big pile of like fresh leaves and dump it on a fire. What will happen? It'll completely smother it and smolder it and it will not be a fire, a, a hot burning fire. So you can't dump too much on. You can't put the wrong fuel on. It won't work. You, you know, you can't feed it too little, right? Just oh, a little stick here. Oh, a little stick there. Oh, just a tiny, boop, 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 just a little boop, right? That's not enough to keep the fire going and it, your fire will fizzle out. So to get that fire burning really, really hot, you got to have the right stuff, the right fuel, and consistently and evenly feed it. And that's the way your metabolism is. So people are like, oh my God, you eat all the time. I totally do. Yeah, I talk about food and I eat food all the time and it's delicious and it makes me happy. But the biggest thing is, is because I really need to consistently fuel my metabolism. So that's the biggest thing. Like for those of you that have never lit stuff on fire, I am sorry. We should hang out. We should do that. I'm just saying because it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun to light stuff on fire safely in a safe environment with safety things around. I don't know. <laughs> But seriously, like we would do that when I was growing up. We would just, oh, look at this stuff around. What are we going to get? And you would have to get the right stuff. You couldn't get fresh leaves. You had to get dried leaves or dried sticks. You started with the right kindling, right? You lit it and then you had to feed that fire and you had to take care of it and get the right oxygen levels to it to get that fire really going. And then when you wanted to get it hotter and faster, boom, you put different fuel on. It's the same thing with how you fuel and feed your body. Give it the right fuel. Give it the, yes, Melissa. Oh, oh, it's going to happen. Oh yeah. We'll light some on fire. <laughs> This is so terrible. This is, this, I'm letting you know a little bit too much about me and what I, 
my free time, right? Mm. Yeah. Anyway, so fueling your body with the right things, the right things at the right time really make a big difference in terms of how fast your metabolism moves, how fast and easy and easy it is for you to burn up what you're eating. That's, that's the basis of it. So no, does all keep valuables away from that? I won't burn valuables unless it's really flammable. I don't know. Just saying. <laughs> It's fun though. It's fun to like experiment with different things, science things. It was all an experiment, right? Like a big hornet's nest, super great kindling. I'm just saying, you know, you got the hornet's nest up in a tree, you throw enough rocks and sticks at it to get it to fall down. And then you run away because it's a hornet's nest and you wait till they vacate the hornet's nest and they go somewhere else. But then you can light it on fire. It's great kindling. I'm just saying stuff like that. Anyway, so that's my analogy for you guys. This is what I've got for you. Really lighting stuff on fire. Think about it in terms of how you, your metabolism works, how you're, how you're fueling your body. If you are wondering, oh my gosh, how can I do this more? There is, just click on the link I have attached there. Um, my free seven day meal plan guide. That's protein pacing, intermittent fasting, car, uh, carb cycling. It takes you through so many different components that are all designed to fuel your fire, to feed your metabolism and get it burning hotter, hotter, hotter. If you have questions, don't hesitate. Comment below, message me anything. If you want to hang out and light stuff on fire, let me know. I'll be game for it. All right. Everybody have a great day.